In the next set of videos, we're going to talk about everything PDF, and we're going to do it in React framework. There is a really popular series for how to do all the different PDF operations, different APIs available for what's possible to do with the PDF format. You can see the series in the comments below. However, I started getting a lot of requests to kind of do exact same thing, but to do it in React, uh, to do it client side. So in the next set of videos, I'm going to go over how to do it with WebViewer React sample that I'm going to push off. And then we're going to talk about how to get annotations, how to merge two PDFs together, how to get the thumbnails, how to search PDF, how to extract PDF, and many more. So to stay tuned with all the content that's going to be coming out specifically for this React series, go ahead and subscribe. So this way you get an alert every time the video is published. So what I'm going to show you next is how to get set up and make sure you're ready for the next series of videos coming up. So go ahead and navigate to the github.com slash pdftron slash webviewer react sample. Again, the link is available in the description below. And go ahead and download uh, or clone this project by downloading the zip. After that, uh, once the zip has downloaded, go ahead and extract the zip uh, just by opening it, placing wherever you're going to be working from it, and getting started. So the next thing we're going to need is Visual Studio Code, or you can use an ID of your choice. Uh, let's go ahead and open the folder uh, for where we cloned it, and it's in, inside of downloads. So quickly, uh, let's go ahead and run npm i to install all the necessary dependencies. While this is running, I'm just going to kind of walk you through uh, kind of what's happening. So inside of package.json, uh, it uses uh, add pdftron slash web your dependency. And then we have a very simple uh, app uh, that has WebViewer component uh, inside of a use effect that just kind of mounts it on this diff frame. So after npm i command stop running, go ahead and run npm start, and let's just see what comes up inside of our browser. OK, and at localhost 3000, we should now be seeing yeah, our React sample with a WebViewer running. Um, OK, perfect. And we have our default PDF loaded up. Great. Awesome. So I will see you in the next video where actually we're going to go ahead and try to draw some annotations programmatically, get the annotations from PDF. And we're just going to talk about kind of the best strategies of handling uh, the annotation data. Thanks so much.